Hey, Gemini gang. What's happening? Happy Sunday, you guys. All Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. Personal readings are in the description box. Well, <laughs> hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, y'all. Hit that subscribe. Y'all are greatly appreciated. Okay. Oh, I already had four. Okay, cool. All right. So, um, let's see what we have, Gemini. Soulmate. Mm-hmm. Passion. Ooh. Okay. Let's have a starting off. Reconciliation. Uh, express your love. And then we have forgiving and learning here on the bottom. So some of you may um, may have someone that wants your forgiveness, Gemini's. Someone wants to work things out, wants another chance. Gemini's, let's see, oops. All right, so seeing the fool, fell face down with a bunch of other cards, okay. How that flipped over, okay, so I'll take the top one. The 10 of pentacles. And I'm seeing a nine of wands. Well, I have to be careful what I show y'all. Let me make sure. <laughs> okay, so we have the nine of wands, the eight of pentacles, five of cups, seven of swords, and the eight of cups. All right, so let's see what's going on, Gemini. So first and foremost, Gemini's, I feel like someone is seeing you as solid, stable, long term. Um, especially seeing a nine of wands, uh, Gemini's. I feel mm -hmm. like someone is um, wanting to go the long haul with you, um, you know, good or bad, thick or thin, uh, whether it gets hard. Okay, Six of Cups, Page of Cups here on the bottom, mm -hmm. giving me children vibes. <laughs> you may have children with this person, um, Gemini's. You may have had some type of rendezvous with them and it resulted in a child. The Ten of Cups? Whoa, okay, so we have two tens. So tens are beginnings and endings. So I feel like this person is wanting to um, have this 10 of cups with you. This person sees you as their happily ever after. Um, Gemini, it's gonna be an Aries. I feel like they miss you too. Like for some of you, you may not, with the six of cups here, been on the passion, like, you may not have been intimate with this person for a while. Like it's been a while, or it's been a long time. I feel like they miss you, they miss that. <laughs> okay, two of pentacles and the eight of pentacles on the bottom. So I feel like this person's trying to find out what to say. Like this person's trying to find the words to say. That's kind of what I'm getting. But I also feel like, too, because the Two of Pentacles can be about ups and downs. And I feel like this person is like, you know, like I said earlier, wanting to stick it out with you no matter what. With the, Especially with the Eight of Pentacles. It's like we want to keep doing this until we get it right um, type of thing. Like this person doesn't want to quit, um, you know, no matter what. Through thick, through thin, through rich, through poor, um... Gemini's this person always wants like wants you to be there and vice versa. They want to be there for you. Okay, and there it is again. <laughs> The Nine of Wands, interesting, um, Gemini's, and we're seeing that Seven of Wands, of course. So, thank you, Spirit. So, I feel like, um, Gemini's, this card, wasn't this card on the bottom of the deck when this came out? I think so, was it this? Yeah, I think it was this. So, it's interesting that this is coming out now from a totally different deck. So, I feel like this person, like I said, wants to stick it with you through thick and thin, stick by you. Um, and they may even tell you this. They may even tell you, you know, um, things are going to be rough or whatever. Like, nothing's perfect. And, and that's true, um, Gemini's. I feel like nothing is, is perfect. So, 
yeah, I feel like this person wants like the long haul with you and to go through everything with you. That's that's just the vibe that I get with the seven of wands here. Some of you guys may not be um, speaking to this person or um, there's something kind of out of whack between you two to see that energy. So, you know, this person feeling defensive or feeling like, you know, um, there's a possibility that there's there might be other people involved but the seven of wands you don't see anyone you just see wands sticking up right so it could be in this person's head <laughs> take that high res days juvenile yeah well <laughs> i'm seeing the ten of swords another ten. Ten, ten, ten. Now, the Ten of Swords can be about um, the worst being over, Geminis. I feel like, let's see, thank you, Spirit. Um, let me get something to cover up this other card that came out. So we're seeing the Queen of Swords here on the bottom. So that makes sense. Uh, we're dealing with an overthinker, and this could be you. Let me cover up the bodies. The Lovers also came out. So... The lovers under the Ten of Cups is someone, like I said, that sees you as their twin flame. Um, they're happily ever after. Gemini's, they're end all be all in a nutshell. Just make sure I cover up the nudity. <laughs> all right. It's crazy. All right, so yeah. Also, Gemini's, like I said, I feel like someone is wanting to get out of the doghouse with you. Sometimes when I see this, I feel like someone is like in the doghouse. Um, somebody's pissed. You might be pissed off at this person for what happened. But like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys have hit rock bottom. Like you've hit this energy with this person. And now they want to get out of it. Now they want to come together. Um, Gemini's also feel like this and take this how this resonates um this person it, it could be either you or them this person feels like you overreact to things <laughs> gemini's take that how it resonates because i'm hearing that sometimes that could be about the ten of swords um yeah this person may feel like you overreact to what they do or what they say or you overthink um so take that high risk because you may feel like this person overreacts um, or makes a mountain out of a molehill. The Ten of Cups again, you guys. Yeah, you're the, you're this happily ever after. I feel like they if this person wants to make a comeback. Wow, y'all. First and foremost, the Temperance flipped over, but the Eight of Pentacles is on the bottom again, you guys. Yeah. Some of you dealing with a Virgo or a Sag with the Temperance here. Holy shit. I love it. I never really noticed how similar these two energies are. Because this, this card is balancing, is balancing two coins. And this card is balancing two cups. So I feel like um, Gemini's, again, this gives me a vibe of this person wanting to come together no matter what's going on in y'all's life that's that's what i'm getting i feel like you know just because we go through um hard times it doesn't mean that things are over or it's the end of the world gemini's so that's kind of what i'm getting i just feel like and i keep hearing that i haven't given up so if you're separated from this person or y'all are at odds or whatever, like the last thing on this person's mind is ending things. Even if you feel differently, Gemini's, because you might feel differently, but that's like the furthest thing from this person's mind is ending things. Like they want to work through, um, especially with the Eight of Pentacles here, baby. They want to work through the problem and not just, you know, end it or give up or whatever the case may be. There's that Queen of Swords again. Mm-hmm. Queen of Swords, yes. I'm seeing the Page of Swords here and the Emperor as well. Some of you have children with this person. I know that's not gonna resonate with all of you or this person just wants children. I see heavy that they want a family. Um, Gemini's, a unit, you know, 
Like I said, they see long term with you, Gemini's. With the Queen of Swords here, I feel like there is um, this person wanting to communicate, this person wanting to um, open up and um, be more vocal about what their needs, their wants. I also feel like too, Gemini's, they want you to be more vocal about what you want or about what you're needing. Uh, Gemini's a Ten of Swords again. Now, I tell you guys all the time how much I love this Ten of Swords card because it looks totally different than this one. <laughs> this one is this one is more so like, man, I've been through a lot, but it's getting better. I love this image because here she actually looks calm and peaceful. It kind of reminds me of like scary movies too. Y'all know at like the end of a scary movie when that last person is standing after everybody else and got knocked off. <laughs> like damn, I've been through a lot, but it's over now. Now it's now we can go up because you you don't get any lower than this. This can be about now the only the only direction we can go from here is up because it gets no lower than this. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank you, Spirit. The Three of Pentacles. The Moon. And the Two of Cups. Cha. I love it. Now, didn't I say something about the Temperance having two cups and then the Two of Cups comes out over? Wow. <laughs> Seven of Wands here on the bottom. Yeah. Wanting to defend y'all's connection, Gemini's. Like I said. Tough it out. This this is what I'm getting from this person. Heavy soulmate vibes. There is a soulmate card there. Heavy soulmate vibes, Gemini's. This person is very, very um I don't want to say emotionally tied. I'm trying to think of a phrase to say it. I will say that this person feels more deeply than they lead on, Gemini's. This person has very, very strong feelings for you even though they may not express it they may not say it um they may not even show it <laughs> but i feel like um they are uh they they feel very deeply gemini's did i ever i don't think i ever touched on the three of pentacles the three of pentacles here gives me a vibe of this person wanting to compromise wanting to work things out kind of what i got from friday's reading uh come out of this energy and work together uh, Gemini's be on better terms with you but I'm loving seeing these twos over here because some of you may be seeing two 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 that popped up in my in my head as well uh Gemini's because it's, it's a lot of two energy here because there's a two of pentacles that are kind of you know moving around each other like the, with the infinity symbol and then you have the two of cups which is merging together and then and I've, I've told you guys in other readings that the temperance to me is it's pretty much the Two of Cups 2.0 because these card, the, in this card, the hands are pouring into these two cups, whereas this card, the cups are pouring into each other. And I feel like this is what this person is wanting from you to prioritize you, um, like I said, to bring you into their life, into their family, um, into their day to day. They may not have been prioritizing you at, at one point. They may even say how they're going to do better. Uh, or be better, but I do feel like they want to get out of whatever um, negative space you two may be in, or you're not talking to this person, or you've kind of gotten cold towards this person, uh, Gemini's, but there's no denying at all that this person feels um, a lot of love for you, and they may not even uh, understand how to deal with those emotions, so... You know, they, they may turn into uh, uh, the Queen of Swords themselves. Kind of nonchalant, you know, not expressing anything or whatever the case may be. But please know, heavy, heavy, heavy soulmate vibes. You have the Two of Cups, the Temperance, and the Lovers, Gemini's. So for whoever, some of you, this is your soulmate, but they have a very strong belief that you are their soulmate, Gemini's. You are the person for them. All right, let's see what's going on. 
Cutting, cutting the deck, I see. I can't hide my feelings anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like they'll open up, but I don't feel like it's going to be like nothing emotional. Me, myself, and I by Beyonce. I don't feel like it's going to be anything like super emotional. But no matter how nonchalant, I told you guys, I miss being intimate with you. Didn't I say that earlier? I told you. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that's what's on this person's brain. I'm going to be honest with you, Geminis. I cry over you. Yeah, that's the vibe I get with the moon over here, too. Yeah, told you, Geminis. <laughs> oh, they missing that good loving. Are we really done for good? Mm-hmm. Please take me back, child. Well, <laughs> I'm ready to open up. I love the way you look at me. Mm-hmm. Unblock me, please. Some of you have this person blocked. I haven't seen that one in a while. I'm better for you than they are. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen this one for you guys either in a while. Exchange by Bryson Tiller. Wow. Spring, something significant is about, uh, about the spring. Let me get a couple more and hop off of here. Okay, so something's happening tomorrow for some of you. What's under there? I'm about to call slash text you. So some of you may get a message from this person tomorrow. Wow. You're my happily ever after. I did not say that earlier. Damn. <laughs> All right, Gemini's. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, y'all. Thank you for watching. Peace out.